Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to combine text with formulas and functions in Excel in order to output a combination of the two. Now if you'd like to get this workbook go to teachexcel.com search for the tutorial and you can download it there. So what I've got here are uh, as a sample sales report and I have my four employees and their expenses for four quarters. Now obviously they have last names but uh, to fit everything on the screen I took them off. So um, anyway I've got a total column right here and what I want to do is I want to add up the four expenses but I would like to also include some text here to say whose expenses they were. Right? So say Bob's expenses were whatever. You know, Sharon's expenses were whatever. And where this can be really beneficial is if all of this source data or raw data right here is in another workbook or another worksheet and you would only like to display the total but you don't want to import a bunch of separate columns for the name and other stuff this technique will come in very handy. So I'm going to show you two ways to do it. Let's start with the first one. Okay, what we want to do, equal. Now we would like our text to come before the formula because I want it to say Bob's expenses were. So what I have to do before anything is to type Bob's expenses were. So quote Bob's expenses oops Bob's expenses were now the next thing I need to do is to make sure you always add a space oops always add a space at the end of the last word then close quote so you need to have your text within quotes and you need to remember to put a space after the last word so the next thing you need is the formula but in order to put the formula in, you need to have an ampersand right here, or the AND. So Shift 7 on keyboards. So Bob's expenses were AND. Now we need a function. So what I'm going to do is SUM, open parentheses, and select the expenses for the four quarters. Close the parentheses. So this is all we need. Now when I hit enter, it's going to look pretty cool. So Bob's expenses were and I've got it right here but actually you know what I have these all random values let me let me uh, freeze them there we go so Bob's expenses were 476 296 now one thing you could do also is um, put a little dollar sign in there or a dollar sign so I'm gonna go to the end of the text and hit shift 4 for dollar sign so that's how you can kind of format it. Now the problem with that method is it does not lend itself to copying formulas down. Right? Because Sharon is not Bob, Kelly is not Bob, and so on. So that's how you can put text with a formula right here. Remember, always keep it in quotes and then use an ampersand after it if you would like to use formulas or functions with it. Now the next way I'm going to show you is how to reference the cell to do it. So we want to make this formula actually work when we copy it down. So equals, now select the cell with the name. So we've got equals A3. Now we'd like to put some text. So to add something like text, we need the ampersand. So Sharon, that's what is in cell A3. So A3 and now we need text. Well, so we need a quote quotation. And let's make sure we format it correctly. And the first thing we need after Sharon is a comma and then an S. So it looks funny when we're typing the code, but it'll look nice when it comes out. So Sharon's expenses were space, dollar sign, close quotation, space, ampersand, space, sum, open parentheses, because now we want to get the sum of all the four quarters close parentheses. So I'm going to hit enter and we can see make these a little smaller Sharon's expenses were 540.317 so even though that's a lot for the year now I can copy this formula down. 
So we get Kelly's expenses, Chris's expenses. Very easy to do, looks nice. And like I said, if we had these on a completely separate worksheet, all we would have to see is um, that. So we wouldn't have to see all this raw data. So that's why it can be very useful. And let's go unhide these now. So let me show you what I did again, just to run over it. I did a cell reference the first time because that's where the name is. Now, since I'm moving into text, I need an ampersand. And to input the text, I need a quotation mark. Now what I did was format the end of Sharon, so comma S, then all of the text that I would like to input, close quotation, ampersand, because now I'm moving from text to something else, a formula, and then I input my formula here. Note, you don't have to put a second equal sign to put a formula in the cell. So that is just about it um, for how you can combine text with formulas and cell references in Excel. If you'd like to get this workbook, go to teachexcel.com, search for the tutorial, and you can download it there. So that's it for this tutorial.